hello everyone welcome to another video in this video i will uh, go through a scenario where we want to auto populate a lookup field value by using a web template uh, so that we can get server data and auto populate in the lookup field for example this is my web page fill attendance in the power portal or power page where this is a lookup right and this is a candidate lookup which is actually uh, connected to student entity and uh, this login user is connected to contact entity so i want to get the information uh, about the contact record which is a portal user and uh, uh, actually we store two lookups one is the contact another is the student and the student entity uh, student entity stores the student information uh, but the contact entity stores the same uh student information with their email id and first name right so i want as soon as the page is loaded if user signed in it should automatically pick up the student record and auto populate here in the lookup right so how to do that the process is like you have to create a web template first in portal management app this is my web template where I have uh, uh, mentioned the code here. This is my code where I am uh, fetching the fetch XML. I am fetching the student record where uh, the student name is the contact username, login username. Okay, you can get this code from my blog, subchip.com. And uh, once the fetch XML is retrieved, I am creating a JSON format to return data to the uh page or to the form which will call this web template and most importantly the web template type is defined as mime type is defined as application and json so that whenever the web template will be called it will return a response as json with data and uh, the uh, record the data that is returned from this web template can be used in our code so first step is creating web template then create a page template the page template will call the web template that we have created but here switch off the website header and footer we don't need website header and footer then in the web page you have to connect the web page to this page template i have created a page temp uh, i have created a web page whose name is same i have kept web template page template and web page same name and same partial url okay so uh, this is the web page where I am using this page template and uh, publish state is published, right? And uh, now we are ready to use, call this uh, uh, web page and uh, from JavaScript, right? So let us see how we can call this. But before that, as we are uh, retrieving the student record information from page XML, so you have to create a table permission uh, properly right so to create table permission you can go to in the table permission and create a new table permission for that entity that you want to display right i have created uh, student entity permission so i have used all uh, required permissions uh, and access types the next thing is you have to go to the form basic form and uh, in the basic form you have to uh, write a javascript to call that uh, to call that uh, page web page right so this is how we are calling the web page in javascript first you have to use document dot ready in the jquery this three is not required this three is uh, used for uh, extracting the query strings but here this is the requirement we are calling a web uh, web template using uh, dollar dot object ajax then type is get and url is the name of the web template or name of the web page then the re response will return with the json value and using that json we are using a for loop to uh, fill the lookup field this is how you can fill the lookup field using the uh, data that is returned in the json right so these are the uh, every lookup field on the power portal or power page uh, is having three values one is the name candidate id and the entity name so you have to provide proper 
uh, values in this in the candidate ID, you have to pass the lookup ID, you have to pass the ID of the record, then the name, you have to pass the name of the record, then the entity, edge entity name, right? So you can get this code in my blog, I have already created, and uh, let me show you the blog. So if you go to subtube.com and uh, go to blogs, here you will find the blog I have written. Uh, let me check here. Yes, this one auto populate lookup field in Power Pages, where I have explained the step by step uh, with code. Okay, step two page template, create a page, right? So, this is how you have to follow and it will work accordingly. So, uh, if you see here, if I will refresh it, automatically the login user will be and displayed as a candidate lookup you see so thank you guys uh, watching this video this is a very useful use case that is used in uh, every project so you can uh, work on this and uh, let me know if you find any difficulty and the code is given in the block thanks everyone watching this video